Hi everybody, how are you? I hope you had a great week and you enjoyed your weekend. It was a busy week here and a busy weekend, but I'm looking forward to the new week. Hopefully it should be a little bit quieter. I had a very exciting week last week though, in my classroom um, about three weeks ago, we got some eggs and an incubator. So we've been observing these eggs for the past three weeks. And finally on last Monday, the eggs were hatching. So we had 15 very cute little chickens in my room this week. And the kids and I enjoyed them very much. They have been picked up and taken to a farm with about 200 other chicks that were hatched in different schools throughout the province. And we are going to get pictures of them as they continue to grow from the farmer who is now looking after them. So it was an exciting week here. But I have a great book to share with you today. So I have a question for you before I start my book. And my question is, what is your school like? Do you like your school? If you could change something about your school, what would that be? So the book I'm gonna to share today is called If I Built a School by Chris Van Dusen. And I think you can tell by the cover of the book that this boy probably has some great ideas. So he wants to build a school and throughout the story, it talks about what he would do if he was building a school. So it starts with Jack, who is the character in our book, on the playground with his teacher, Miss Jane. And he says, eh, this school is okay, but it's pitifully plain. The builder who built this, I think, should be banned. It's nothing at all like the school I have planned. And I'm not gonna read as much as I'm gonna share some of the pictures with you for his school. So this is where you walk into the school. Welcome to school. Now the entrance of my school doesn't look anything like that. And then from the lobby where we just saw the animals, this is how you will get to your class. I think that looks like a lot of fun. Zooming in under 10 seconds, it says, right to your room. So then he shows how the classrooms are going to be built like colorful flowers with roofs that open up during the day. And then the teacher's words will just magically appear with no whiteboards or blackboards. And then the desks, oh, I like this idea, floating desks like bumper cars in case you happen to bump into somebody while you're working in the classroom. And special guests in the class. So he thinks maybe they might have a T-Rex or perhaps Abraham Lincoln. I haven't had any special guests like that in my classroom in a while. So the library, which of course is my favorite room, Let's have a look. You won't find your everyday regular book. These books come alive when re removed from the racks. They pop out like pop-ups, but pop to the max. And if you're not sure what a book is about, you'll find out quite quickly when something pops out. I think we all know this book, Jack and the Beanstalk. You can see what he means when he says the books will pop out. So this is a very fun, very creative book about what this boy feels his school should look like. And this is how he would create it. And here's one more picture to share with you. This is part of his playground. I don't think any of my students would wanna come back to class if this was the playground. But this is a great book if you have an opportunity to look at it. If I Built a School, Chris Van Dusen. 
And I'd love to hear some ideas of what you would put in your school if you had an opportunity to build your own. Have a great week and I'll see you back here next time. Bye-bye.